1540 Jacqueline. We're going to take our first video of this place. Actually, our fifth video, but first one since we've been done. It's our sign, remnants from those trees that we had grown. Some new railings going on here that look pretty nice. Nice new approach to the house. New door. Some nice new lights as well. Well, let's come on in and take a look. As we swing in, as you can see, we're walking halfway into a bi-level, which is a little new for us. But it came out nice. Come up here into this big whopping room. I want to show you we got a great view out over the yard. That used to be the big mushroom tree that we turned into a normal tree. Now I swing to the left so you can get a real good idea as to how big a room I'm standing in. I'm going to keep rotating. There's where we came in. And let's go this way. Okay, so here we are at the room and look at all the architectural detail that we've got on the ceiling and that we really have throughout the house. There's an awful lot of trim and as you can see it up high, I won't point it out a whole lot, but it is a very beautiful way to delineate between the height of the wall and the height of the ceiling. And it really gave us some good details to work with when we were painting in here. Okay, I'm going to sweep back to the left. We of course have a deck out here with a nice view of the entire neighborhood. And it's a nice looking neighborhood. Plus you got some good pine trees in your backyard. Let's turn slowly to the right and get and hold or get your eyes around this big huge kitchen. Now to me this is the difference between this house and other by levels that I've seen is the absolute huge size of this kitchen. Plus we gave it new floors, we refinished the cabinetry, and we have brand new appliances in everywhere. New sink fixture, dishwasher, beautiful gas stove, above the stove microwave, and the Doug Benson favorite water and ice in the door refrigerator. New countertops as well. But the size of this first floor is just awesome. We're going to swing away and walk down the hallway. Here we go. Notice too the hickory floor that we've got down here. This is laminate. Got a closet here in the hallway of course. We'll come here and we'll present you to the right with our first bedroom. All new doors, all new door hardware, hinges, handles. Fresh and clean and beautiful in here. Brand new windows. Every window you see is going to be a brand new one. Nice bifold door there. Good, good looking six panel doors everywhere. So as we walk out here, we'll turn right. This bedroom came out really cool. This was a room that had some, as you can see, the framing that was done with a wood trim. What we did is we offered that framing, we just painted inside it the same color as the ceiling. So it adds some texture to the walls, and it also adds for a pretty interesting look. I really like it. Debbie did a great job with this part of the house. Of course, new light fixture up there, and doors and hardware again. So this is bedroom number two. Let's step up the hall here and go into this bath. This bathroom features a granite top and a brand new vanity. Really beautiful floor in here too, plus bronze fixtures in the uh, shower and tub here. Uh, it's been set up, staged with a color combination that kind of matches what's on the other side of this pocket door here. Here's the master bedroom. Just an easy step in. Again, a new window. We staged a bed in here and these really cool sliding doors. You know me, I love sliding doors, so we squeezed them in on this place. Okay, we're going to leave the master bedroom now. We'll go down the hallway, down the stairs, into the basement. Beautiful hickory floor still, as you can see. Notice too, we capped and wrapped with carpet these stairs that head up. And the stairs that head down, we just stained them. Okay, as we come downstairs to the right, 
I'll show you our very huge two-car garage. You can hear my echo in it. There's the back side of that famous garage door that everyone has been writing me letters about. The garage came out really super nice. We'll close the door here and turn. Here's a, your, your utility room on the right hand side. On the other side of that is your water heater and your furnace. And to the left is yet another closet. Of course that's the closet that fits underneath the stairs. We have another pocket door here that I'm stepping through and here's the basement or the lower level if you will of this house. Brand new windows again. Notice the two tones that we went. Darker on the bottom, lighter on the top. And a very beautiful fireplace that I'll tell you works and works very well. We've uh, ran some scrap wood through that fireplace and it really warmed us up nice. We also suspended a nice, just nice clean looking mirror with a pretty nice uh, uh, frame to it, kind of help brighten up the room. Here you're looking out the backyard through the windows. And here's some of the most fun of the house is in this room. This is our laundry room full bath combo. We have top of the line washer and dryer, front loaders of course, and immediately to the right of them, notice this four foot shower. Very nice. We have a stool down here in the corner, and as we pivot over here, got a brand new vanity with a nice extended sink, and a mirror and a medicine chest mounted into the wall, plus new light fixtures above. This room is a big feature of this house really makes it very versatile for use and uh, we've never offered new washer and dryers before with any of our flips so this is a new one for us anyhow this is 1540 Jacqueline Drive in Holt Michigan if you're interested enough that you'd like to see it more or see it live please give us a call I'm Doug Benson and Debbie Benson with Esker Properties we're at 517-290-6739 or 517-281-5404. Thanks for taking the tour with me. Bye.